muchacho. Hey, hola, amigos, vuelvo con otro Miguel, eh, amigo. <ríe> oh, my God, qué disparate. ¿Cómo están todos ustedes, amigos? Bueno, vamos a continuar. Eh, lo que estoy haciendo ahora en este momento es entrenar mi mente para hacer otros trabajos de, de configurar y hacer las conexiones de un nuevo esquemático acá del amplificador del el hijo del Wolverine. Mr. Stewart, um, he sent me the link of the schematic. It's already on the forum. If you are interested on, uh, at least I have seen getting the, the schematic. I, I think you can, you might be able to put it together. Uh, uh, this, uh, for a person that has a bit more experience doing layouts, it can be really easy to do. But for a person that does not have much experience doing the schematics and, I mean, layouts and stuff like that, it's going to take forever. So I decided to try it out, the, a new layout. But even though he already told me that there's going to be a Gerber's available for the community that you can actually download and order the PCBs, the one that they have on the second group buy is just a nice, quality PCB and they will provide you plenty of information and help from the community. If you have doubts about the the build of your amplifier after you order, they're going to send you a link so you can down, download the information. There's going to be some kind of like a, I was trying to make this video a few times, but I have a tendency to talk way too fast. So I'm trying to slow down my, the way I talk. So to let you know, guys, what is going on with the, the newest design and on the second group buy. So you can, um, perdón que lo estoy diciendo todo en inglés, pero es para que si señor Stuart está viendo el video. So there's going to be a link, a Dropbox link. And the good thing about that is uh, after you got the link, it's basically a share online folder. If there is any changes on the on the schematic or something else or probably an annotation or something like that, you will see it automatically on your computer. Of course, if you have internet. And there's going to be some kind of like a manual with the in, in details instruction on how to put it together. The song of the budget PCB that they are, they are a good, excellent quality PCBs. Uh, I think that's a good uh, investment to do that. I mean, if you are really interested on in building one. One of those uh, amplifiers that uh, well, I saw many times the video of Daniel JW and he did, he put it together, he tested and he had, he got the equipment to do that. So he did all kind of test or uh, distortion and he even used the TH, okay, THD plus N. I, I, I really don't know how that works, but anyway. Um, So what I'm doing right now, I'm just having fun trying to uh, do it myself. Just <laughs> sorry about that. I'm coughing. I'm sorry about that. Lo estoy diciendo en inglés, por si acaso están viendo. Este, I'm saying this in English just in case. Mr. Stewart probably watching the video. He's a different. He's on a different time. Uh, it's 9.29 a.m. local time in Puerto Rico. So uh, what I'm doing right now is training my brain to follow and, and the, the schematic. So the good thing about the schematic that I really like, I really like the way they did it. Don't, don't pay attention to my silly stuff that I have on my desktop. Don't, don't pay attention to that. Don't worry about it. I, I'm, I'm a weird guy. So I like to, you know, I like uh, superhero movies and stuff like that. I got, I like anime. That's weird to say that, but I like anime. Yeah, I know. That's, I'm, an old, <laughs> I'm already an adult guy. Uh, so we had the schematic. One thing that I noticed is that Mr. Stewart, I think, I think he, he did this. Yeah, he, he's a really, I would say he's a really organized guy. He worked on a software, a CAD software that is really complicated. Uh, probably he's like me. Probably he's like me. He likes to do things the way he's supposed to be. Do, to be. But he's more advanced than me. I would say that. Okay. So we had the final schematic. I would say that this is the final schematic and we have the results at, on the top. And these are really impressive results that we have here. Distortion. Of course, this is the simulation of the software, this LT Spy simulation. It's not the same thing as the real thing, but in the real time, it does provide a really 
really good results on the THD performance that is so low that it is quite amazing to see that. Uh, on the new schematic, we have different changes on the on the input stage. I I seen that they added some more stuff to it. Uh, I see two new LEDs. I haven't seen these. We got two LEDs, Dido 10 and Dido 11, and we have the Dido ABAB21. That's a weird looking. Uh, let's see. We have another. They added this transistor. The, I think so. I think they added the Q12 also with the, another of those BAV21 Dido. So we got Q12 and Dido 9. Also, they did. They have this option right down here. It's a selection that you do. I think you should follow the, I mean, if you order the PCBs, you will have that information, which one, you, whatever, whatever you're gonna choose. We got a TMC and the TPC. This is a good idea right here. I like this idea. Uh, what else they added? They added C12 and R5 in this. We have the capacitor, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, I was having breakfast a few minutes ago. Okay, so we have the this capacitor is connected to the collector of Q4, and then is connected to the this resistor 10 ohm to the collector of Q3. That that's new for me. Uh, we have a new uh, capacitor also the C11. We we don't have the value of this capacitor. It goes to ground. I imagine probably maybe it's a. Uh, 10 picofarad, probably 33 picofarad. I'm not sure about this value, so it's not it's not here. They know the 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 value of that particular. We had a <clears throat> on the C1. We have a. I think we had a 4.7 or 10 microfarad capacitor here, depending on the. Uh, here it used to be 800, 920 ohms or 1k. You can use here. I think so. I'm not sure the the the, the best values for this. Uh, Design. Okay, so they changed the Q7 is a different uh, semiconductor, a KSC3503E, and goes to connect it to two diodes in series. We have Q7 is different. We got a diode 12 and diode 3 connected to the base, the both base of Q5 and Q6. That, that's a new thing right there. What else we have here? We have the Oh, I see. There is something new here. I see. I see something different here. Okay, on the this circuit right here is some kind of like a I would call my Mister Mister uh, Pete Ostriper told me that a long time ago that this is basically some kind of filter. Uh, it, it resembles uh, a forty k forty k farad microfarad capacitor, something like that. He told me. I, I really don't remember the whole thing so i seen that on the information here that we have a this diode is only for the version 3.7 so you know you do not install this diode diode 101 and this is the rail we had 63.53 volts and these two diodes they are going to be installed only for the ips version 3.8 only the capacitor multiplier so at the bottom is going to be the, it's gonna have the same information. Also, we have here a two they added two diodes. This is weird. I haven't never seen something like this before. We had two diodes. We got the diode 105A and diode 105, no 106A. This is weird. This is weird. I'm not sure about this. Is it this it says V out I. V out I. I'm not sure you need to install this. Probably, maybe, I don't know. I don't have the manual, so I cannot tell you something that I don't know. So also we had this rail uh, that is gonna supply voltage to the capacitor multiplier. Uh, I think is the value of this resistor is, I'm not sure if this is one ohm or 10 ohm. This is interesting, I'm not sure. I cannot tell the, the, the right value of this, uh, this component that here. I think it's a smart idea to do this. Oh, they added, <clears throat> sorry about that. They added a, a resistor after the, the rail, the rail voltage that uh, is going to fit 
all the power transistors, we're going to have uh, this resistor. It's a 1 ohm, 1 watt. I think this is some kind of, I will say, probably it's a CR filter, some kind of a CR filter. I, I think they also they change the value of this capacitor, the filters. C123 is 270 microfarad capacitor, electrolytic capacitors. At the bottom, we're going to have the same thing. This is a, some kind of filter. And also, I noticed something here that they have this connection. This is some kind of like an option, jumper 103. This is weird for me. This is really weird. Let's see. It has a lot of good details. On, uh, okay, they added this protection dido. I would call that the, the reverse protection dido in case you install the wires backwards by mistake. Instead of having the positive here, you will connect the negative on the top and the positive at the bottom that will just blow up your fuse immediately. So it's going to uh, protect your investment, your, your amplifier. Uh, this being added... It was used in the first time I seen this this uh, protection. It was on the slew master, the three, the two. I mean the the three pair and the five pair, uh, the slew master. And uh, here, as uh, you can see right there, they have these two two resistors in in parallel to to make the the ten ohm. That's a good idea because you really don't, you really don't want to use a huge components on the PCB. And then it has the, the option here. If you are having the emitter follower tree, the one with the only three pairs, you can install only these two resistors in parallel, uh, 220 ohm resistor. That's a good idea. I like this idea. This is nice. But if you having the emitter follower 3-4 only, you can only use one resistor. That, that's a good idea. They, they um. Mr. Stewart added that thing. At the bottom, you will see the the history. I will call it the history that what way what is being done to the PCB. We had the first version, version 3.1, and all the information that was that they did to the PCB on 2021. And then in 2021, they added they did all this. You can read out that all the information. And then on the 0901, this is a recent. They did some changes. The changes R one 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 split into R one one and R one one. It sounds funny. B addition jumper jumper one zero three added four output pair option emitter for added. So we have that information, and then here this is the last thing that they did to the to the schematic. So that this is good. I, I will say this is a good idea to do that. So so what I'm doing right now is just. Training my brain to try, I'm going to try to um, recreate that into my own design just to practice and just doing some training. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to train my brain to to make a piece of the PCB the best, the best way possible. Anyway, uh, he told, Mr. Tom, told uh, God damn it, God damn it, I got a tongue to it. Sorry about that. Mr. Stewart told me that it's going to be Gerber's available maybe in the future i'm not sure when it's going to be available so that's a good thing because you can try it out uh when jlcpcb as a prototype i mean this it's already been tested so it's no longer a prototype i would say and i don't think it's a it's no longer a prototype because already it was already built it and know simulated improve it uh, tested by in the real time and I think this is this is great. I really like it a lot. Let me tell you. So I'm gonna end up the video. Sorry that, but I, I say I saw I say everything in English. So I just gotta say that. No se molesten si lo estoy diciendo todo en inglés. Que tengo que decirlo en inglés para señor Stuart. Bueno, now, from now on, I'm gonna I'm gonna say in Spanish. Bueno, este es el esquemático de El hijo del valle. El esquemático ya ha sido eh, arreglado, actualizado aún más. Y aquí a la parte de abajo estaba lo que estaba diciendo es de que según pasaba el tiempo, ellos, eh, el señor Stuart lo actualizaba. Tenía primero la, era la versión 3.1. Más adelante eh, cambió la fecha. 
versión 3.8 y todos los cambios que están al fondo. Y es que Mate se volvió a actualizar otra vez más. Esta de la tarjeta de salida, que es esta de acá, y luego una vez más se volvió a actualizar la, la tarjeta de salida. Lo que me gusta, I forgot to mention that the uh, Mr. Stewart he separate the input stage, the IPS, he separate in, and also the output stage. So this is a, a good idea at the moment that, I mean, you don't have to be confused by looking at the whole thing like this. You just can look at the the input stage and try to put it together. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to continue trying to to use that schematic and transfer that into this a large PCB. So that's what I'm going to do today. Eso es lo que voy a hacer hoy. Bueno, eso todo, amigos. Voy a finalizar el video. Espero que les guste. I hope you guys, you guys like this video. I'm uh, trying to, to, you know, go Spanglish today so you guys can understand what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> Because I know, I know my Spanish is way too fast. All right, uh, have a good day, guys. Que tengan un buen día, muchachos.